What's up everybody? I'm Jamie from 3littlegoats.com and today we're going to talk about copper. Most, more importantly, copper deficiency. Now, goats need copper and even though I give them free choice minerals, loose minerals, that they have all the time, it doesn't have quite enough copper for them. So it's important that I supplement them with a copper bolus, which is a little pill which I will show you here shortly. There are a ton of different ways to give your goats copper. Everyone has their own little secret. It all depends on what works for you and what works easiest for your goats. I like to use marshmallows as a little treat to kind of hide it in. Some people will take the copper out of the pill and they will add it to a liquid and drench them. Some people will add it to a fruit that they know their goats like. It's just a matter of what your goats like. If your goats are finicky, like some of mine are, the girls don't really like marshmallow that much, so I have to kind of hide it even more for them. But the boys will gobble up a marshmallow in no time flat. So I'm going to show you how I do the marshmallow method and talk a little bit about that and then show you how I give it to Sirius because today Sirius is going to be getting his copper and what to look for when to know when you need to give your goats copper as well. So today I'm going to give my does a dose of copper. Depending on your area that you live in, you may be mildly copper deficient in your land or you could be severely copper deficient in your land. It's just knowing where you live, everybody is different, every goat is different. It's a matter of knowing the signs of when your goat is copper deficient and how to treat for that. So what I like to do is I actually get the copper bolus which come in a container like this and they're actually pills that you can give your goats. Now they do have a rod that you can actually put these in and then kind of shoot it down into their throat. I don't like doing that just because I don't like doing it. But inside, I'm going to be opening these up anyway, so I'll show you what they look like inside. They're actually just copper, little copper rods. And they sit in the digestive system each different size rod sits in a different part of their digestive system and slowly releases the copper into their system. Even if you give your goats free choice mineral, loose mineral, chances are you'll probably still need to give them a copper supplement every three to six months depending on your area again and your goats. I just noticed that Daisy was starting to lose a little bit of hair around her eyes. Her coat is kind of looking a little dull and almost looks like it's singed which are a sign of copper deficiency. If you have like a black goat, but you notice that the black is starting to turn kind of a brownish color, chances are that is from a copper deficiency. So if you're not giving copper to your goats, you may want to check your area to see how high your copper levels are and see if maybe you need to start giving them some copper because if they are copper deficient, it can lead to a lot of different health issues and they can be more susceptible to parasites as well. So everybody does their copper different. I like to give mine in marshmallows. Just store-bought marshmallows, nothing fancy. And I'm just going to actually cut it in half. If I can, I cut it in half and now it's stuck to the plate. I cut it in half and so it's like really, really sticky. And then I just take it and I kind of just get all of the copper rods stuck to the marshmallow. And then I just sandwich it all together because again, it's nice and sticky. And we're gonna go and give this to the girls.
that is what I have got for you guys today. If you want to know more about copper and how to figure out if your goat is copper deficient when you need to give them copper and some other tips and tricks on how to give them their copper, be sure to check out the link below. I'll write an entire article detailing everything even more. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we put out new videos every single week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.